All right, Shh, guys, let's go, please. Number one, this is exercise what? Help me know exercise what, 29? Yeah. Exercise 29 on page what? 133. All right, I will be in question one. Question one says, state the equation of the straight line that is passing through 2, 3 that is parallel to 5x minus 2y minus 1 is equal to 0. So we have 5x minus 2y minus 1 is equal to 0. And we are being asked to find an equation that is parallel to this line. Alright? Now, to find an equation, there are two things that you need. You need, um, if you're going to use the formula for finding an equation, you need the gradient of the line and you need one point on the line. But let's get that. What we know about, um, about parallel lines is that parallel lines have the what? Same gradient. Parallel lines have the same gradient. Meaning that um, the line that we're being asked to find, we are told that it is parallel to this line. So if I want to find out what is the gradient of the line that I want to find, I need to know what is the gradient of this line because parallel lines have the what? Same gradient. So first I need to get it in the form where I have what? Y by itself on one side. This is what I will do. I will have 5x minus 1 is equal to negative 2y goes over and become what? Positive. So this is 2y. But remember, I need y by itself on what? One side. I need to get rid of this 2. By doing what? Divide. I'm going to divide the entire equation by 2. 2 here, 2 here, 2 here. This one, don't it? Yes. So now I have y is equal to 5 over 2x minus a half. y is equal to 5 over 2x minus a half. What is the gradient of this line? Talk to me now. All right, you saw that answer sound? That answer sound like you never get this? That answer sound like you did not get this, which you should have. So, what is the gradient of this line? 5 over 2. Yes. Sorry, I got the answer, but what I did is that I didn't put the... I didn't put the 2y. You didn't carry it over? No, I carried over the one. You could have carried over the one and the five. You could have done that. There's nothing wrong with doing that. But you got the five over two. All right, fine. Are you ready? You mean in a sense you carried over the five and you carried over the one? Is that what you did? And then divide both sides by minus two. You should end up with the same thing. So what did you have for your gradient? Minus five over No, you shouldn't. Because here's what you're going to do. You first care about this, don't it? Yes, and you care about this. The 5 will go over as negative, mm -hmm. and the 1 will go over as what? Positive. Don't it help me now? Yes, sir. Then when you divide what? A negative by a negative, you should end up back with a what? A positive. Stay with me. Now, let's talk about what? The line that we want to find. Let's talk about my second line. No, if I want to find a line, I'm going to use the equation, the formula for the, the formula for finding the equation of a line. The formula is y is equal to what m into what x minus x naught plus y naught. That's the formula. What do I, What is the gradient of this line that I want to find? Why? Because the two lines are parallel. The examiner gave me one line and he's asking me to find a what? Another line. And he told me that the two lines are parallel. parallel. So the gradient of this line is also what? 5 over 2. I need one point that this line passes through. 2 and 3. three. This line passes through the point what? 2, two and 3. This is my x naught and this is my what? Y naught. Let's put this stuff now into my formula. My friend from what? Is it Meadowbrook you go to? I'm quite sure this is not how your teacher do it. But look, are you ready? 
let's put in our stuff in our formula. Now, what your teacher did is equally as right, but this is how we do it. So we have y. What is m? 2. 2y over 2. 5 over 2 into x minus, what is x naught? 2. Plus y naught? 1. Y naught? 3. I'm going to remove the brackets by applying what? Whatever is in the bracket is multiplied by what is? So this is 5 over 2 x. A positive times a negative is a what? Negative. 5 over 2 times 2. Plus what are the n? Help me now. 3. This is 5 over 2 x minus you can see you. Something wrong. Oh yeah. Minus 5 plus 3. This is 5 over 2x minus 2. This is the answer that we want. Let me answer a question. What can you tell me about this line and this line? What can you tell me about this line and this line? How do I know they are parallel? Parallel lines have the what? What is different between parallel lines? What is the difference is the what? Y intercept. The gradients are the same, but the y intercepts are different. Cut, this one cut the y axis at what? Half. Minus a half. This one cut the y axis at what? Minus two. Minus two. Read for me question number three. E is a What's that? Yes. So what I would recommend is this. This might be uncomfortable to you and different the way a teacher show you. Next, question what three? Read please quickly with burning daylight. Mm -hmm. E is the point. E is the point what? Minus two five. Minus two five. Uh huh. Two minus three. Two minus three. Uh huh. All right, so G is the midpoint. Please note, normally, normally we always have what? Our midpoint is what? M, don't it? Yes. So the midpoint is EF. No, man. You can't let it say. Of EF. The midpoint of EF. And he said the midpoint of EF is what? G. No. No, everybody come back to me. Normally, in our formulas, we use the midpoint is what? Big M. The examiner can call the midpoint anything he wants to call it. And right now he's calling it what? G. The formula remains the same. It's what? X1 plus X2 over 2, comma, Y1 plus Y2 over 2. This is X1, Y1, X2, Y2, G. This is minus 2 plus 2, you with me? Yes, sir. Over 2, <coughs> comma, 5 plus five what? Minus 3, over, two. over 2. G, 0 over 2, zero over two <coughs> comma, 2 over 2. Do you agree? Yes, zero, one. G is the point what? Zero, 0, 1. Who can tell me something about the point G? What can you tell me about G? It's the point zero one. Sound like somebody said it a while ago. Come, call it. What did you say? They said nothing. The Y intercept is one. Very good, my friend. Actually, that is correct. Which is why I asked to say it again. They took them out. What? Shut. I said, call it. Did say it a while ago? No, you're not answer. I think I heard um, Coley said it and Moffat said it. Okay. The y-intercept is what is? One. one. The y-intercept is one. How do I know that? What Coley said is that this is on the what? The y-axis. Any point that starts at zero, the chord, if, the chord, if the first coordinate is zero, that point is on the y-axis. That is the y-intercept. But anyway, let's keep going. What did they ask? Yeah. 
gradient Let's find the gradient of EF. M, the gradient, is what? Y2 minus Y1 over X2 minus X1. What is Y2? Help me know. Minus 3. Minus 3. Minus, what is Y1? Minus 5. Over, what is X2? 2. Minus? Minus 2. Stay with me. What is minus 3 minus 5? Minus 8. Minus 8. Over 4. Over 4. At the top. If the signs are the same, you add an? A negative times a negative is a? Positive. So the gradient M is what? Minus 2. Alright. Can I show you what, what situation you have? Minus 2, 5. My, and 2, 3. You have a situation like this. Minus 2, 5. Um, this, are e. this is E. Um, the next point is what? Mine is positive 2, negative 3. Out here. And so, what you have is something looking like this. Something looking like this. You see this? This point here is G. Help me now. Help me somebody. This is G. And G is what? G is what? Zero, one. So this is one years so. old. Everybody with me? You can, if you can visualize the thing, boy, it will be beautiful. What did they ask us to find last? The last thing they want? Determine the equation of the perpendicular bisector. Can I show what the perpendicular bisector look like? I'm just giving you a visual appreciation. The perpendicular bisector is a line that looks like this. This is the what? Perpendicular bisector. bisector. <coughs> Alright. The gradient of this is M is equal to minus 2. Now let's deal with the perpendicular bisector. Ladies and gentlemen, let us push ourselves because we came here for a reason. Came here to pass this exam, not to fail it. Let us push ourselves, let us do the work, you understand? Fine. And improve the quality of our lives. And that's how you get dedicated, to improve the quality of your life. Alright. Unless you're rich, you must be for fun. Alright, let's go on with the perpendicular bisector. To find the equation of any line, I already know the answer already now. Just by looking at it, I know what the answer is. What, the gradient of this line is what? Minus 2. What is the gradient of the perpendicular bisector? 0. M2. What is the gradient of the perpendicular bisector? 2. No. Go again, no? No. It is positive, a half. You must invert the gradient and what? Change its sign. 2 is the same as saying 2 over what? 1. If you invert that and change its sign, we're going to get? A half. This is a half. So I'm going to write the answer. And then I'm going to write the answer. This is the answer. Y is equal to a half x plus 1. This is the perpendicular bisector. Now, if you were properly prepared, you should have seen it as well. There are two things you need for an equation. You need a gradient and you need a what? Y intercept. What is the y intercept of the perpendicular bisector? One. What is the gradient? Ah. Those are the only two things you need to know to find out what the perpendicular bisector is. The gradient is what? The y-intercept is what? 1. That is the equation. The half here and here is the what? 1. That is the equation of the perpendicular bisector. But in order for you to do that, you have to first know that the what? 
that the y-intercept is what? Is 1. If not, you'd have to use the formula. Let's use the formula. y is equal to what? m into x minus x0 plus y0. m, the gradient, m2. The gradient of the perpendicular bisector again is what? Ah. Aha. Uh -huh. Stay with me. Now, the perpendicular bisector, to find the equation of any line, you need to know one point that it passes through. What is the one point you know on the perpendicular bisector? Zero. I would have told you this already. The midpoint of EF is one point on the perpendicular bisector of EF. I told you that already. The midpoint of EF, the perpendicular bisector must pass is through the what? Through the middle. Because it is the what? Perpendicular what? Bisector. If it's a bisector, it passes through the what? Through the middle. What is the middle? It's the only point we know on the word perpendicular bisector. Zero, one. This is my x naught and my what? Y naught. Let's put them in. Four thirty. Y. A half. X. What is x naught? Zero. Plus. What is y naught? One. One. Distributive law. Y is equal to what? A half x minus a half times zero is what? A half times zero is what? Zero. Zero plus what? One. Y is equal to a half x plus one. Adding zero or subtracting zero don't affect what? Nothing at all. No, you could have done it straight from what? Your understanding. Or you could have what? Worked it out. All roads lead to the perpendicular bisector is what? Y is equal to what? A half x plus what? One. Let us push ourselves. Failure is what? Not an option.